What if I tell you that Jagex actually didn't have a choice when implementing the delete account button that is so controversial in the community right now? Let me explain. Yo, what's going on guys? My name is Javelic here and today we're going to be talking about the very, very and rightfully so controversial topic about the account deletion button that is currently only on mobile but will most likely go to the desktop client as well in this video because there's actually a good reason for it but before we get into it consider giving this video a like share it with the people that are confused about it as well because i think i found the reason why um also leave a comment with your opinion because about any video i want your like opinions but especially this one because it's such a controversial topic um so yeah just let me know and subscribe if you're new i do these commentary videos every single week but without further ado let's get into it so first things first what is going on for anyone who's not up to date there is an account deletion button on mobile and obviously that is a big issue with the current state of runescape account security because let's be honest runescape account security is decent at best like it's far 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 from good especially when you think about the amount of hours and the amount of time you put into a runescape account and it's still being able to hack be hacked in 2022 when you know there's so many measurements like i know you have two-step authentication but apparently there are ways to bypass that and just regular account security is just not on point with other modern video games that are online services and jagex has acknowledged it especially on the old school side i don't know if it's on the runescape 3 side as well but i assume it's kind of the same thing because you use the same login style or way of logging in um, on both games so i assume they have the same issues and they have addressed it when it comes to old school and they stated that they would work on it but just like pk updates in old school it's it's not it's not really happening over the last few years but why it's such a big issue is because obviously when you got hacked before people could you know get off like your billions of gps or millions of gps depending on how much money you have and that sucks but at least if you manage to get your account back you still had your stats you still had your quest you still had everything that you worked all those years for and yeah it sucks that your money is gone but that is something you can get back but you know what the time you spend on completing all those quests getting all those 99s 120s 200 mils collection logs whatever that is something you can't just get back well obviously but with a lot of time but you know like that is very bad and that's like why people are so upset and i understand why people are so upset about it because let's be real that would be awful when it happens to you as i said it sucks it sucks it sucks when your money goes away but you know what the progress is still there and you can rebuild and you know sometimes it's even fun to rebuild obviously on your own terms not because some asshole hacked you but y you get the point right but now with the new delete account button which is as i said only visible on mobile but there's gonna be one on um on the on the steam client as well at some point that is an issue because that gives the hackers more and more power and that is why people are very worried and scared and as i said rightfully so i don't think this is the right time to implement such a button but as i said i do not think jagex has a choice and here's why so i was talking to a friend of mine about the new button and he was actually like you know what Maybe there's something to do with privacy reasons. And I was like, you know what? Actually, that is not a bad point. Because, you know what? Like, when it comes to privacy reasons, like, if you just think about it in general, um, on the internet, it's very apparent, especially over the last few years. Like, obviously, we had the whole Article 13, Article 14, or whatever it was called, drama, where there would be some copyright law in place that would pretty much make it impossible for content creators in Europe to make content. Like, we literally thought that it would be that bad that if you make a picture on Instagram with, for example, I have a Red Dead Redemption 2 poster behind me, that Rockstar Games could copyright try me. Obviously, they would never do such a thing, but yeah, like, think about those YouTubers that get millions and millions up on view views, which, like, 1 million views, I think, on average, goes to around two to four thousand dollars of money of income. Imagine companies just being able to claim that because they're using your content. So, um, either it went into play and it wasn't as bad as we expected or it never went into play. I really didn't do research on that. I'm really sorry. Um, but one thing I did do research on is just the protection laws that are into place. And I took the European law because I think that is the cause of this account deletion button. Um, if you want to read the article for yourself, I'll link it in the description down below. Um, because I wanted to make this video and I thought that this was going to be the way it worked. But obviously I think you need to have some sources for it because this is something that relates to law and to actual facts and not just 
oh, the people have an idea on this, let's just talk about it and create a false narrative. But this is not me just protecting Jagex. I genuinely think, as I said, this is not a statement or whatever by Jagex. Like, there's nothing been officially confirmed, so it's still a theory. But at least I base it on actual facts instead of what I think. Um, Jagex hasn't done a statement as of the 18th of January 2022 when I'm recording this video. Um, so they might come out with a statement about this update in the future. So please don't leave comments about, oh yeah, well, Jagex said blah, blah, blah. Yeah, no, I didn't know when I made this video, bro. That happened with the dueling arena as well. I made a video on it that should be deleted. And two weeks later, they announced it would be deleted. And then I get all these comments like, oh yeah, well, they announced it now. So why did you make this video? And I'm like, dude, just, just look at the date. So, okay. European law and why I think it's this law in particular there's this law that went into play in 2018 called the general data protection regulation or law whatever which is short for GDPR law this was gonna go over all privacy measures in video games especially and just media in general but especially in gaming it just goes over all online information but obviously if you really think about it, especially a game like RuneScape but even any game that has any online services it has information on you like it has information on you, like your IP address. Like they, they, they need your internet information to be able to connect you to servers that are close by to you to give you the best connection, which they need your IP address for. So your IP address technically is linked to your actual address. And think about RuneScape. You use your credit card with RuneScape or you use any billing information with RuneScape. They probably have it backlogged somewhere just in case of a lawsuit or just in case someone is like, oh yeah, well, I didn't get my membership, so blah, blah, blah. And they'd be like, here, facts. And there's probably a certain amount of years that they're allowed to keep that data, but they have data on you, period. And with this GDPR, there should be a way for a company to delete your data. That is just a law that is just in there in the whole regulation, whatever. Um, which is pretty much the account deletion button. Because I just looked into it as well. How do account deletion buttons work in most services? Like, like for example, you have one uh, on Steam, you have one on Nintendo Switch, you have one in other games. Um, usually how it works, it deletes all your data. Not just your account data, like, you know, in RuneScape case, your stats, your quests, everything that you've ever worked for. But also your billing data, your credit card data, your IP addresses, everything. That's how it works with other games. And we can assume that Jagex has it working the exact same way because... Why else would you implement something like this? And that is just the reason, I think, why they did it. And I couldn't really find anything about 2022 and that this being a year that it had to be done. You know what I mean? Um, but I would assume, as I said, this is an assumption, but I would assume that this article that I'm referring to actually states that a lot of gaming companies just don't know what's going on with this law and maybe there's been some clarification and maybe there was like a grace period and if you don't know what a grace period is I it, it works with like I had some law in, in uni by the way so I know something about it usually when a law go gets into play there's like this thing called a grace period um, where it gives companies or whatever people affected by the law a little bit of time to adapt so for example if you need an account deletion button, like a law understands that, you know what, you can't just implement it just like that. So there's like a period, maybe like of a year or like six months or a month or whatever, where a company needs to implement something. Um, and after that, they can get sued by whoever because it's not there because they're, for example, collecting data. Maybe the grace period has ended or maybe the grace period is about to end because I don't think Jagex who are aware of their current security system and how bad it is because as i said they stated multiple times publicly that they would add something like this that could be so destructive for the people that could get hacked i genuinely think that the only reason why they implemented this is because they have to because they have to by law and as i said i do think it's a european law because the UK doesn't really have a law. Like, there's probably a law for the UK for it, but I, I didn't really find anything on it. But this European law literally popped up everywhere. With, like, anything I typed in when it came to video game laws, this came up and how it's affecting gaming industry and everything like that. So, if you think about it, there's a lot of European RuneScape players, including myself. Um, So, I don't think they want to lose this market. And the article states as well, like, a lot of companies, even Razer, for example, which isn't even a gaming company, but it has to do with data as well because it's an online company. They just, you know, implement these rules worldwide. And this account button obviously is a worldwide thing. So, 
yeah, I generally think that this is the reason why we have this implemented in RuneScape at this moment in time. So, yeah, let me know what you think about this. Do you think I'm right? Do you think I'm awfully wrong? Or do you think I'm just chatting shit? Like, as I said, I'm not here trying to defend Jagex. I just genuinely think that they just didn't have a choice because, dude, how bad would it look on them if someone gets hacked and they get deleted? That's that's not something you want. Like, I think they know the dangers of this button, but I think they just didn't have a choice but to implement it due to actual law. So, as I said, leave your opinion in the comment section down below. As I said, if you want to read this article, it's in the description down below. Leave a like as well if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you're new. And my name is Chef Elric. See you guys in the next video. Goodbye.